Hey everybody, it's Bobo the Vulture. <laughs> oh, GG. Man, that stream only lasted like 20 minutes. Huh? Yeah, what's the deal? What's the deal? Uh, so this is uh, Let's Play Together, even though it's a one-player game, the way we're currently playing it in the story mode. Even though the story mode is one-player story mode. WWE Smackdown, here comes the pain. Here comes the underdogs. No <laughs> here, mercy. Yes, here comes the underdogs. underdogs. <laughs> I got <gotcha. laughs> you. Underdogs. <laughs> underdogs. Under. Come on, bats. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, Jamoni's got a. Uh, oh, I wish they. Uh, I, I wish that we'd been using that phrase in our promos. Oh what? Big trouble in Little Rock. Oh, these two opposing forces in one ring. A showdown of monumental proportions. Are you ready to accept your fate? A crushing blow. He will not let up. It might be all over. It's theirs. It's theirs for the taking. Everything is on the line. No words will be needed. I think they had to drop that from like future story modes because it just highlighted how generic the uh, promo packages were all made for pay per view events. Is. Oh, the chat apparently when it switched back and forth, it must have messed up. It's uh, it's okay now though, guys. All right, I'm gonna give myself an extra point of strength now that I've saved up for that. Now I have a submission. <laughs> we were thinking the easiest match for me to win would be a submission match. Uh, yeah, I guess. I have I a submission realize. score of two and a half. I didn't realize that, but, but at the uh, same yeah. time, like, it's the one where they, they like a, a crazy statted up computer opponent can still be beaten. Whereas, like, I remember us trying to win last man standing match against the Undertaker in story mode, and it's like you can hit him with like ten finishers, and he still yeah. gets up at nine. All right, nothing going on backstage. Kind of surprising, but uh, okay. I think the other members of Nation Domination uh, would be hanging out, and we would yeah. want to like say something to them. Let's go to the match card. I imagine other members of Nation of Domination will be left completely out of this card. <laughs> yeah, that's no, what I, I was going to say. Nation yeah. of Domination. No, Nation of Domination is already over. <laughs> this, is just, this is just you trying to put an end to the underdog. Nation of Domination just broke up last week. They're like what? You replaced our bus with a pickup truck? Fuck you, this is over. <laughs> <laughs> that thing doesn't even have enough seats for all of us. You know, I got Stacy Keebler, champion, which is crazy, versus Trish Stratus. Um, you got the D... the D... the D... <laughs> the D I thought you were... I thought you were trying to say Divas Championship. It's like, no, it's the Women's the Championship at this point. No, it's the Divas. And it went back to being the Women's Championship since. The Divas thing is over, but now yeah. it's the... the <laughs> the Dudleys versus Triple H and Rick Flair is kind of fun, <laughs> but not like the Divas. And you missed a pretty fun segment on Raw where Enzo and Cass had finally debuted, and um, Enzo Amore said, like, to Devon Dudley, I'll slap you so hard, I'll put that lazy eye back to work. Uh. <laughs> to which Devon Dudley got to, like, go insane with rage. <laughs> That's awesome. Ah, there you anyway. go, man. So yeah, okay, no titles changing hands at the paper. Oh, damn it. Now it's time for the final. Oh, no, go re read up on your reversals here. But it's the final. L2, R2, reverses, grapple. L2, R2 button at the <coughs> right, reverses, Irish whip. L2 and R2 together, reverses, finishers. There you oh. go. <laughs> what is this? It's a hardcore map, so... Yeah. You can use weapons, but you don't have Oh, nice. The camera angles and shit that we get here because they're inside the ring. There's this leg clipping through your chest there. The Triple H and Rick Flair is a team. The hell. Oh, that's Triple H and Rick Flair are both part of evolution. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, this is a point in time when, yeah, they were a part of a stable. Um, like, you might consider that, like, I think... I think Ric Flair and Batista were the, like, tag team aspect of that group for a while. Oh, sort of. Kind of. They, they, they kind of missed it. Out. I get comfy here, so I can... Uh, the Dudley boys crushed them. Well, I mean, they won. We don't know that, like, they were destroyed, like, Nathan Dominic and Express. Bobo dominating this matchup. I think I think you've hit the point where your your character is now powerful enough that you can kind of destroy. Like I, I kind of wish we could do the tag team storyline again now. <laughs> All right, uh, Brock. That was. Are 
You should not try to punch me. <coughs> Both men took to the table. I believe you can pull weapons out from underneath the ring in this game, but... Oh no, he's gonna go off the top of the stairs! At least you finally have a weapon to use. Yeah, so, you talk about how much I'm dominating this match. Let's take a look at how much damage Brock Lesnar has taken here. Well, no, yeah, but you, you've dominated as far as, like, he's not closer to you than a fi to a finisher than you are, which wasn't really going to happen for, for JG. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yes, Nation of Domination is going to uh, win this little rivalry here. Uh. <laughs> that, right that do it? Nope. All right. That was weird. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're trying to. Yeah, I'd say I think you can pull weapons up from under there. I don't know. He uses underdog counter powers. Quick, use your chair to flatten that underdog. <laughs> Interesting counter. He wasn't even up yet, and he's already. Uh... What's wrong, Brock? Happens to problems climbing the ladder of victory. Um, some punnery going on here. So Brock has a red head and is wearing a yellow um, outfit now, complete with yellow arms. Oh, now he's taking damage. Put him on the chair. That's what's devastating. Ball of all. Yeah, it's kind of a lame ass main event, honestly. <laughs> Pay per view main event? Yeah, alright, whatever. It's like two minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> Should I have stretched that out more? I, I no, we no. You, you don't want to take risks like that against Compu Brock. <laughs> Back Bobo Drop. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but no, now, for some reason, you've been devastated. Oh, man, here comes Eddie to the ring. Uh oh. Eddie? Uh oh. Wait a second. What the hell's going on here? Eddie. Eddie's never been known to like, you know. Hang on a second. Now, Eddie, at swerve. this point in time, mm -hmm. well, I mean, obviously, in, 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 in his actual life, you know, the, the uncle of Chavo he's Guerrero alive. Jr., at this point in time, yep. uh, tag he, he's, team partners he's with still Chavo, the Guerrero uncle of Chavo Guerrero oh, yeah. Jr., even to this day. Um, so, you would have to think. He's here to help Nation of Domination, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Siding with Lesnar. I can't believe Eddie Guerrero would come out and, and be like a cheating, lying guy. Be doing something deceptive. He must be joining a corporation. He certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> this robbery is far from over. I seriously thought this pay-per-view was going to be the end of the storyline, so... No, never be game over for this storyline. <laughs> no, he betrayed Nation of the Jimoni, first of all. <laughs> he betrayed Nation of Domination. <laughs> <laughs> Second of all. <laughs> he didn't really betray anyone. He wasn't actually a part of Nation of Domination. Possibly his own nephew. <laughs> yes, but, uh, that is true. Nation of Domination betrayed. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> Nation of Domination. <laughs> <laughs> Chavo's like, don't worry, I got lots of other Guerrero family members who will come in and be on this for nomination. No, now, like, you know, he's gone, He's going to go backstage, and he's like, look, <coughs> Chavo, man, Mexico found out about how you've been working with Nation of Domination. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming after you. <laughs> And Nation, Nation of Domination is like, okay, this is, this is, this makes sense if you watch Lucha Underground with us and hear our commentary. So Nation of Domination is like, uh, Chavo, we'll offer you full protection from Mexico. No, Chavo, if you join with us, 
we will cancel the debt with Mexico. Mexico will not come after you. Chavo's like, okay. And then Chavo is, goes to the corporation. They're like, we'll offer you protection from Mexico, who will still be coming after you. And Chavo's like, that's the deal I That's want. what I'm looking for. <laughs> All but right. So I guess you're right. That turned out to be kind of a short match. We should probably... Uh, get another like <laughs> the, the pay-per-view will be in the middle of this uh, episode <laughs> for youtube but uh what the hell uh time to start smackdown here because obviously this angle isn't over mm. this is more like what pay-per-views are like now where the pay-per-view in the middle uh it's not yeah. it's just sort of rolling things all right here's a vinny boombots some of you may have been surprised at what happened in no mercy seeing eddie join the corporation with me backing up the corporation, we are unstoppable. And Bobo, you need to decide your future. He's all upset because I talked to him backstage that one time. That <laughs> <laughs> was a long time ago. He got cool. I right. think that might have loaded after that, so it technically <laughs> didn't happen canonically. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> yes, the canon of our story. Station of Defenestration. Should you join with us or keep hanging around with that pack of degenerates? Look, we know this is clearly supposed to be the DX story, but uh, you allowed us to pick our stable name, so don't start going with degenerate. Uh, degeneration, domination. Then you part out, but... Vince's memory... Oh, Yo Mama 6 9 father of the underdogs, is here. And saying that Vince's memory transcends time and space. <laughs> that, that may well be off. true. So, do I want to keep boosting my strength or making my endurance or technique? Yeah, either way, I don't have enough points to do any of those things. I have maybe have enough money at Shop Zone to buy some move sets if I wanted. I could buy all of these move sets, or I could screens, or I could keep unlocking. saving and try and unlock like Superfly. That's right. I think I was saving up for Ted DiBiase. Hawk Animal, Hawk Animal, Old School Undertaker, Slaughter, Million Dollar Man, and Superfly. The dead man and the man who may have killed someone. Uh, Jimmy Superfly Snuka. All right. Um, let's maybe a murderer. All right. Nobody's anywhere, so I guess it's time to go to the card. Not a nothing. So you got New School Undertaker versus Big Show, Travagro versus John Cena, because at least he's still with us, and. Uh, Bobo and JG, the brothers of destruction, against uh, Brock Lesnar and Eddie Guerrero, the uh, the new underdogs. The uh, also the opening match of this card the is the Undertaker versus the Big Show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because who they, who gives a shit? <laughs> you know, yeah, no, nobody cares about that. Uh, we should probably just skip Chavo versus John Cena, give the corporation a chance to win a match in this feud. Okay. Yeah. That's play time, Chavo. That was awesome. But yeah. Bit of All right. KOs are off. DQs, no break. You're okay. That's not so long. Interference is off. Oh, right. I guess you can have interference be an automatic match ender. Oh. In rules, but uh, no. Viva la raza. That's right. Oh, Isn't he the cruiserweight champion. and the heavyweight champion? <laughs> I don't think so. I feel like he unified multiple titles in this, like... He may have been a tag champion and cruiserweight champion at one point. Man, remember the cruiserweight title, guys? Wait, somebody call the Iron Sheik, we need an ass fucking... I... I will not speak, call the Iron Sheik. For, uh, I, I do not personally believe that I... Fuck Chavo's worthless ass, SMH. <laughs> Stephanie McMahon Helmsley? I don't know why. Uh, Shaking my head. Uh, right. That is another Because one. he couldn't defeat John Cena, who has an overall WWE career record of 8,742 wins, six losses, one draw. I mean, come on. Now, to be fair, anybody can beat John Cena once. But then in the next, like, five pay-per-views after right. John Cena gets to beat him. I don't think anyone can beat John Cena once. <laughs> Like Bray Wyatt and Rusev got like one win over Cena and then returned to favor four times, but you know, I have never seen like eight Slater get the big win over John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
We're coming on, everybody. Come on. Change you need to that's fucking what? Wait, whoa. Right, presented to you by WWE Entertainment. <laughs> Vulture. Yeah, we can't use our tag team entrance. A lot that's of stuff we need to fix, like each of our names appearing twice, <laughs> etc. Strike. Yeah, so taunt. And then, yeah. So there's your base control, so you can take a review of those now. Anybody who's playing at home, you're probably not watching what we're doing. So uh, stop that and watch. Ooh. Kick him right in the kidneys, I don't care. Sounds good to me. Give up. <laughs> Hell no, what's up on the dogs? So, am I crazy or does the corporation now have more members I in this table than we do? It does. Or did um, did Iron Sheik leave the corporation? <laughs> we haven't heard him mentioned in a while. I suppose that's possible. Or maybe uh, they're going to get the upper hand at the end of this particular fight and we will have a new random member introduced to our stable. Well, hopefully we get a choice in the matter. Suplex City, bitch. Suplex City, rock. Come on, baby, you have a perfect chance to help your uh, fellow Oh shit, guy. that is... He recovered just in time <laughs> to start punching me. <laughs> Brock's like, I just love Brock being forced to the guy punching you and you know so and I'm shocked. <coughs> <laughs> New member of the underdog stable, Eddie Career never even gets in the match. <laughs> okay, I just got a last hit from that fast and I'll see you there. Yeah, it'll be unusual. His his finisher is going to be, of course, the frog splash. Uh, but I think the other one is the last one from our past. So he has like no grapple finisher up for him. Oh, here we go. I'm glad I got to be involved. Although honestly, it wasn't wise to tag JG in. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm a bad employee. And I'm watching it for the piano. He says you're a rad employee. You radiated the uh, stone cut. <laughs> you had a lot of rad. Oh wow. A little Arn and Tully action there. That's what we're going for. <laughs> now I've decided I'm like a member of the Rock and Roll Express. All right, now let's, let's get Jim Cornette to hit him with the uh, <laughs> tennis racket. We will be the Midnight Express, possibly the uh, Heavenly Bodies. They're not the same. No, they don't. A lot of quick tags here. Beverly Iser. That's right. Beverly Iser time. <laughs> Now we've both got finishers saved up now. And Eddie Guerrero's taking a beating. <laughs> Ten rats per second. Oh my god, in the audience, a little green shirt creature with what appears to be a bag on its head front row. <laughs> yeah, there's some weird looking people in the computer crowd. I think I see the one you're talking about, yeah. Kind of disturbing. <laughs> come on, comp, you bobo, do some damage. <laughs> come on, comp, you bobo, get on the apron. Right, 
JT's character has hops for a white down in series. Well, you don't know that I don't have the same hops. Croc is so, uh, gonna try to save it this time. Because apparently you didn't need to. That, that is I was right. really, I was really sad to have my Guerrero die. He, he was my favorite wrestler. She could win. Oh yeah. Brock is in there with his two F five. Well, beard is plus ten to have. I have a beard. I like, I might grow back the mustache, so um I saw a picture of me in Afghanistan having won the mustache contest and uh I'm gonna bring that thing back. So I guess we're gonna have another twenty minutes of this. This uh video is gonna be too short with the pay per view, now it's gonna be uh four hours long with lots of double team effort on uh our various opponents. I mean, it seems to have uh, worked out pretty well in terms of uh, wrecking Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Admittedly, probably not as hard as wrecking Brock Lesnar. My biggest concern would be if, uh, whilst you know the the partner who uh, is compu controlled, as they're getting out of the ring, they're not available to break up a pinfall. Should you know? Rock could get an F5 on, say, JV, who has zero stats. Nope, nope, nope. That's nope. right. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> How did he kick out? He was in the and ball driver. And now he's tagging Eddie. He get the F5, tag Eddie back in, and get it grabbed by the ref. Computer, you're a genius. <laughs> you finished it with a spike call driver. Seriously, this is him. Oop, oop, oop. Oof! That was pretty sweet. <laughs> God. No, we can't. <laughs> Thank goodness the referee decided not to count. Alright, Magnum driver time. This will be a full show. Nope, 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 Sorry, customer, lol. Aww. Endurance attribute, badasses! Bitch, I'm, bitch, I know you got me down my mage! Thought that disturbed your cat, but cat was a shit. Bobo is the man, man, this is like no mercy! We won a match and then cut to a cinematic of Bobo getting beaten up! Where's this faction? Like, seriously, they were here in the ring just like a minute ago! Street <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is like, well, alright, later, Bobo, you got this. What the hell? This is Triple H! I don't believe this! I don't believe this either. I don't believe that this is going to be good for us. He's a real superstar, isn't he? He's a real superstar! Oh, yeah. he, he, he's a real superstar, he, isn't he? He hasn't been cooked! Today's Rick Show, he seems to be helping Bobo out. What's he doing here? I don't know what this means, but Triple H is now in front of us. <laughs> well, he's actually kind of behind me, but I'm not much. This rivalry is asking the bizarre new development. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> For example, the spontaneous disappearance of Iron Jake and the Divas. And Chavo. <laughs> 
Chavo apparently died in that match against John Cena. John Cena actually killed Chavo Guerrero. Well, I mean... No lame. Uh, wanted Scott Steiner over 10. Oh, okay. So we'll keep up the woman again just checking. This game is kind of bad. Yeah, the, this game is pretty weird. And oh, now we're in Manchester. Now it is time for the UK tour, so uh, we got that going. Uh, so when we come back next time, folks, uh, you know, folks in uh, YouTube land, stream, we're still going strong. Um, our st the stream of the underdogs is still strong. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't want to have like an intermittent uh, stream. Uh, and if you do, you need to see your doctor. Right. Uh, when we come back, uh, it's going to be... UK tour time, so perhaps the jury will come to have to like <laughs> kick our ass again for no reason. Or perhaps the jury will appear and like tell us, ha ha, you accidentally agreed to a match between me and your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so maybe that'll happen, folks, but until then, this is Bill of Vulture. This is uh, Let's Play Together, even though the story mode is a one player game at WWE SmackDown. Here comes the fame. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time.